class 5th. In the previous part, we have seen the countable nouns and uncountable nouns, is it? So today in this chapter, we will be learning the nouns of singular and plural. How the singular form, how the singular noun change into plural noun. Okay, so this everything we will learn in this uh, chapter. Okay, so are you ready? Let's start. So first see what is the noun we have seen, what is a singular noun and what is a plural noun. So it is said here that a noun refers to only one person, refers to only one person or only one thing. It's called a singular noun, is it? Which refers only one person or only one thing. It's called singular noun. And what is said here? The noun refers to more than one. More than one person, more than one thing are refers to plural form or plural noun. Okay. So have you got, have you understood that what is singular and what is plural since first uh, standard we are um, learning this okay now in the fifth standard we will learn little bit in detail okay now see here what is singular and what is plural that we have seen now again I, will, I would like to tell you that nouns usually change their spellings okay usually change their spellings when when it is getting transformed, it changes its spelling. Okay. So, see how there are certain rules that, what are the rules that we will see one by one. The first rule we will see that add S to form plural. So, certain nouns are there which we can add only S to form the plural form. Okay. Let us see. Make 
the plural. Okay. So box boxes. Have you understood? Now see next. Add es when add es to which end in o. The noun which ends with o just add es. Okay. So potato. We will write the same spelling here. Potato. And add es because it is ending with o. Yes. Add es to which end in o. So which certain uh, nouns are ending with o, we have to add their es to form the plural. See the same type volcano. So volcano also ending with o. So here we will add es. We will write the same spelling and write es. So it becomes plural. Now see next what is it? A few which end in O. Now here we have seen which end with O. Uh, just we have to add PES to from the plural. Now here what is said here that a few which end in O only which, which is ending with O only and takes S. So certain words are there. So we, we don't write their PES. Okay. So just we have to put their S. So certain words are there that photos. Just put their S. Okay. Just put their S. Piano. Some words are there which ends with O but does not take E S. Like potato, volcano. It takes only S. Okay. So which words are there? Photo, piano. Okay. See what it says next here. When Y is preceded by the vowel, just add S. Preceded is followed by vowel. See here, Y is preceded by vowel. We have to see the uh, vowel before Y. Okay. So in monkey, here Y is there. But before Y, there is a vowel. Yes, there is a vowel. So, in certain cases, if the Y is followed by any vowel, just we add the S. So, monkey, monkeys. Add only S. If there is a vowel before Y. Okay? The same way, day, day, days. And so on. Key, keys, boy, boys. Yes? Now we will move towards the next group that is the nouns which end in F or F E. They change into V and add E S. Okay. See how life. See it is the this noun is taking F E. Okay. So if the word, if the noun is ending with F or F E, we have to cut that F E means L I. We have to we have to cut this L I. We have to write instead of F E, we will write V and just we add E S. So it becomes lives. Life, lives. Okay. The same way, hoof. We will cut here F. We will cut F. And instead of F, we will not write here F. We will write here V. And just add there ES. So it becomes Oops. Wolf, the same way. Wolf, we will cut F. And instead of F, we will write there V. And add ES. So it becomes wolves. So life become lives. Hoof become hooves. Wolf become became wolves. Are you getting this? Let's move toward the next one. See all the rules are given in your grammar book. Just you keep the grammar book open in front of you. Okay. 
See what is said next here. Plurals by changing the words. How? By by see. Some nouns. Uh, while making plurals. Okay. While making plurals, the vowels are changing completely. Now see here. F O O T means here. O O O vowel is there. So here this O changes into E E. So food became feed, and tooth became yes, my dear student. Tooth became teeth. So here the vowels get changed here. Now see here, change plural, change plural by adding e n. So certain words are there. So like ox. So while making the plural form of ox, we have to write that e n. Ox oxen. Right? Okay. Now see, certain nouns remain the same in both in singular, whether it is in singular or in plural, it remains the same. Means mathematics. If we say mathematics, it does not change. Uh, it does not change its form, whether it is in uh, singular or plural. Mathematics remain mathematics in singular also and plural also. Are you understanding? So mathematics remain. Same mathematics. News, news also remains same. News and muscles, muscles also remain the same in both singular as well as plural. Okay. Some are used only in the plural form. Can you see this? Can you see the blackboard? So now see here. Some are used only in the plural form. Because they come in the pairs. Now see the trousers. Trousers. Trousers we use. We can, we can see the trousers. It comes in pairs. Okay. So trousers remain the same in the singular as well as in the plural. Spectacles. Spectacles also. See trousers we wear in both legs. Okay. So it comes in pairs. So it is said it remains same. Trousers remain same. Trousers and spectacles, spectacles remain. These also come in the pair. So spectacles also remain same in the plural. As well as scissors, it also in the uh, scissors also comes in the pair. So, so some nouns which come in uh, in pairs remain the same. Okay. See. Some nouns, some nouns remain the same. But see, there we have seen that uh, some nouns are uh, uh, in the plural also remain same because they come into pair. So, but this this time, some certain words are there that they do not change at all in the plural form. They remain remain same like deer. Deer is a Forest animal, huh? And when we are making its plural, it remains same. Dear, dear, fish remains same. Fish, sheep remains same. Sheep. We cannot say dear, dears. Fish, fishes. Sheep, sheeps. Wrong. These. These certain words do not change. It remains same in the plural. Yes. See the last rule. What is said here that some nouns completely change their form. Some do not change their form. Some nouns change their form completely. If there is one mouse, if I want to make the plural, what should I write here? Yes, correct. It, it 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 completely changes its spelling. See mouse. It became in the plural mice. Now you see what is the spelling of mouse and what is the spelling of mice? Yes. Okay. 
child when i am talking about one child it is a singular and when i am talking about many children yes my dear students so child become here children person one person many people okay so i'm talking about one person it is one person singular when i'm talking about many person it become people okay so have you understood all these rules i want that table has been given in your grammar book i want that you write this grammar uh, these rules in your notebook okay we will move forward so see my dear students we will solve this exercise which is given in your grammar book that is fill in the uh, fill in the blanks with the correct form of nouns given in the bracket okay so words are given in the bracket we have to choose the correct form of noun and we have to complete the sentence let's start here the first example has been given here sandeep and sujitha generally visit the library on all weekend or weekends consider here it is given all so that is plural form so which we have to select weekend or weekends weekends so here we will write weekends yes my dear students now see the next sentence anil anil uses a pair of spectacle spectacles to read see before only i have taught you that spectacles uh, is a plural form uh, sorry uh, spectacles because it comes in pair so it remains the same in singular as well as in plural so we cannot say the spectacle because it comes in the uh, pair so it is plural form so we have to choose the word spectacles so here ani uses a pair of spectacles to read okay see the third example deepa bought a pair of jeans or jeans what do we say because it is a pair here it will come jeans yes so here we will write jeans deepa bought a pair of jeans okay see next the gardener are trimming the bushes with their scissors which comes in the pair so we will choose the word scissors scissors hmm? see the dash means friend or friends meet every sunday evening see friend or friends we have to think the verb is given here meet if there would be meets there would be a single person yes so here hence it is given here meet so there would be many so friends we will choose so the the friends meet every sunday evening yes my dear students now see the next five dash mile or miles is a long distance to walk every day here we will write that five because it is given here five so we will choose miles five miles then why it is given here is if we see the verb as like this we have to choose mile mile is a long distance but here is given five so we have chosen miles five miles because my dear students it is discussed about distance so my dear students read the sentence very 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 carefully you will get the answer quickly it is discussed here about the distance so it is given here is but it is said here five miles five miles five miles 
is a long distance. Yes, my dear students. Okay. See, next, many people or many persons visit the monument. Person. Many people or many person. What may come here? Person is a singular form and people is a plural form. So here, hence it is given here many. So we will write here people. Many people visit the monument. The office, staff or peons was not happy with their salary. Okay, now see here it is discussed about. Okay, so first see the book. It is words. Yes, it is words. So we will think that either staff or pimps was not happy with the salary. Okay. So who? The office staff or office pimps. If we choose pimps, here is words. So pimps will go wrong. Okay. Hence it is words. So we will choose the staff because staff is a collective noun. Yes, my dear students. Staff is a collective noun. So the office staff was not happy with their salary. Are you getting me? So here we will write staff. The office staff. Okay. The bus is the only mean or means of transport from the village to town. See, there are certain phrases. Okay. So these phrases. Means of transport. Shall we say mean of transport? No. So this is the phrase. Phrase word is means of transport. So we will choose your means. Okay. The verse is only the means of transport from the village. Okay. See the last sentence. Five years or years is a long time to be away from home. Again the same we have discussed about distance. Here is discussed about time. Time and distance. So here come. Here it said is. So five. What we will choose? Five years or five years? Yes. Five years. Have you understood? So I want that these exercise you also saw in your grammar book okay so in the next part we will see the different kind of noun which is gender okay so till that stay home stay safe bye